Join us for this week's On the Conservation Front as we dive deeper into critical water issues facing the state. Florida Sportsman has been leading the fight on the conservation front lines for over 50 years. A beautiful day at the beach can turn disappointing if the place is littered with plastic. What's worse is those plastics can be broken down to smaller particles, microplastics, which can be ingested by marine animals and fish. Fears are very real that the toxins and chemicals in plastics can be passed to our bodies when we consume those fish. Let's join Alex Scholes, co-founder of Four Ocean, whose mission is to stop the ocean marine plastic crisis. Alex, plastics is such a convenience in our lives. Everything's made with plastic. Why, they, why does it pose such a problem for the ocean? You know, the problem with plastic is, uh, from its design purpose, it was designed to last forever. And I think that that's the biggest effect. And what happens is, this plastic, when it ends up in the ocean, it does not break down and disappear. It'll break into smaller pieces and eventually break down into microplastic. But the problems that it's causing is, it, it does not biodegrade. It was made to be used once and last forever. And that's the problem. What are microplastics and why are they such a problem? So a microplastic is a piece of plastic that is broken down uh, from a larger piece of plastic that the sun's UV rays have broken it down to the point where it becomes very brittle. And then the wind, the waves, and the, the tides actually break it up to the point where it falls apart into tiny particles. And what's happening with these particles is they're incredibly dangerous because that's what animals are mistaking for, for food and they're actually ingesting this plastic. And at that point it's incredibly hard to recover and it's, it's basically nearly impossible. How is so much plastic ending up in the ocean? You know, Mike, what we're finding with our teams, you know, in these international areas is a large amount of the plastic is entering in these areas that have a formula. It's a lack of waste management infrastructure. It's a large amount of population. And unfortunately, it's poverty. That is where single-use plastic is being consumed on a massive level. And what's happening is these areas that have elevation, when it rains, all that plastic is being brought into the rivers and streams and ending up offshore. So that's why our teams in Haiti and Bali and the Philippines are trying to stop the plastic at the source before it has a chance to reach offshore, while also educating and influencing people and creating that value behind that plastic to stop it from ever ending up in the streets or the ocean as well. You know, walking along the beach, beside the aesthetic problem with plastic everywhere, microplastics, a study showed it is ingested by marine animals, including fish, yep. including fish that we eat. Uh, should anglers and people that consume seafood be concerned about toxins from microplastics getting into their bodies? Absolutely, and the problem is getting worse and worse, and what you're finding with a lot of these people is they're finding plastic being ingested by these fish, and it's something that if we don't do something now, it's only gonna get worse and worse. What is 4Ocean doing to battle plastic pollution? So 4Ocean is taking two approaches, both a proactive and a reactive approach. The reactive approach is our captains and crews that are out there seven days a week cleaning up the plastic that exists in the ocean. The proactive approach is utilizing the brand of 4Ocean and social media to educate and influence people on what they can do to change their habits and their plastic consumption to not have as much of an impact and have that much plastic ending up in the ocean. You have a global network, a workforce, that's working to rid the ocean of plastic. How did you get this far so fast? You know, Andrew and I just started just the two of us, and we really put our heads together, and, and we were very passionate about trying to keep the ocean clean, and we wanted to build something that could create a better future for the ocean. So we started locally here in Boca Raton. We expanded south into Miami and up north to West Palm, and then we went international. So we now have cleanup headquarters uh, in Bali, Indonesia, in Haiti, in Florida, as well as the Philippines. Your growth has been phenomenal, and your funding, as I understand it, comes 100% from your sale of recycled materials to make your Four Ocean bracelets. Right. You want to talk about that? For yes, a sir. So when we started the business, we wanted to make a product that we could uh, make from recycled materials that we're collecting that could fund the removal of trash from the ocean. So we started out with just selling a product, uh, the Four Ocean bracelet, and now we're expanding into other different products that can help fund our mission as well as uh, diversify our approach from ocean cleanup. So we're really looking at ocean cleanup from a 360 degree holistic approach. So now we have uh, different government contracts that we're trying to get involved in that we can have to help scale our cleanup operations all around the world. We are selling a product online, which for every product sold, we remove a pound of trash from the ocean. And then we have these other means of utilizing the materials and creating value behind the plastic that's in the ocean that can fund our cleanup. So really, we're looking at this as a full approach and attacking ocean plastic in every way possible. Alex, what are you doing in your home life to help stop this problem? 
it's, it's changing your daily habits. You know, bringing that reusable mug, bringing that uh, jug of water when you go out in the boat and not purchasing plastic water bottles, bringing you reusable silverware, bringing your own bags to the grocery store. It's every little step that you can take has such a big impact. And then from a recycling standpoint, going out and, and, and making the initiative to save any plastic bags that, that you do happen to use. You know, plastic exists and it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not, we're gonna be able just to turn off the tap overnight and quit cold turkey with plastic production. So it's going to exist in our daily lives. The thing is how you manage and recycle that plastic is the most important part. So for example, LDPE bags, like a, a shopping bag that you typically get from the grocery store. A lot of people just toss them in the trash. But the thing is if you save all these bags, you can actually take them to the necessary center that can recycle them and make sure that that plastic does not end up in the trash, in the landfill, or in the ocean. In the long run, would it be cheaper to buy reusable plastic containers than spending money on single-use plastics? Do people realize that's more expensive to use single-use? Well, the thing that is, is, is problematic is it's the convenience sake, right? Everybody wants the convenience factor. And I think that that's what we're trying to do as 4Ocean is to show people that, you know, if you can make sustainability convenient and make these small changes, they can have huge impacts on the amount of plastic that's ending up in the ocean. You know, a growing number of charter fishing operations and fishing lodges around the world are now giving their clients refillable water gallons and cups to eliminate bottled water altogether. Are you guys part of this movement? Absolutely, and, and you know what, that is the, really the big picture of what Four Ocean's trying to accomplish. You know, it's little things like that where these lodges, these fishermen, these, these daily users of what was once single-use plastic can change a habit very easily. You know, when you think about it, buying a 24-pack case of waters and, and consuming that in one day can be switched out by just getting a, a one-gallon jug and a reusable mug, and you're not consuming any plastic. And the benefits on that on the ocean are just absolutely amazing. Looking at this situation globally and also locally, what can Florida, or anglers in general, yeah. do to get in touch with you kick in some efforts, help you get to where you want to go. If they visit 4ocean.com for every product purchased, we remove one pound of trash from the ocean. So our captains and crews are out there seven days a week cleaning the ocean, pulling this plastic out. But it's not only just about pulling out the plastic that exists in the ocean, but it's also changing the habits and the daily routines.